Have you ever been lost in a sea of words, trying to recall your brilliant idea during a meeting or lecture? Imagine if you could transform those words into vibrant visuals that make note-taking fun and your ideas stick. Stick around because today I'm exploring visual note-taking, a game changer for capturing and organizing your thoughts. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Anshul Kumar and if you are new here, this is where we explore productivity hacks, stress-free living, and the best tech apps to boost your efficiency. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Visual note-taking records information using illustrations, diagrams, and symbols instead of plain text. This technique taps into the power of our visual memory, making it easier to remember and understand complex concepts. It's like turning your notes into a mini art project. Visual note-taking isn't just about making your notes look pretty. It's a powerful tool for enhancing comprehension, retention, and creativity. So let's break down why this approach is so effective. Studies have shown that our brains process visuals 60,000 times faster than text. Combining images with words creates a multi-sensory learning experience that boosts memory retention. Visual notes can keep you more engaged during lectures or meetings. Drawing and connecting ideas keeps your mind active, preventing you from zoning out. Visual note-taking stimulates creativity, helping you think outside the box. It allows you to see connections between ideas that you might miss with linear text. Complex concepts can be broken down into simple visuals, making them easier to understand. Visuals can convey relationships and hierarchies in a way that text alone often can't. So let's dive into some practical tools and methods you can use to start visual note-taking today. Here are my top five recommendations. Mind maps are a great way to organize information hierarchically. Start with a central idea and branch out with related concepts. Use different colors and images to make connections clear. You can use mind maps to outline the stages of a project from brainstorming to execution. It's a great way to see the big picture and ensure nothing gets overlooked. Check out the video with my Pick on the mind mapping tools. I will leave the link below. Sketch noting involves creating a visual diary of what you are learning or thinking. Combine texts with sketches, icons, and arrows to capture ideas dynamically. The combination of text and visuals makes it easier to review and remember important information. This method is fantastic for lectures, conferences, and book summaries. Digital tools like Procreate and Notability offer flexibility and endless possibilities. You can draw, erase, and rearrange elements without any hassle. Moreover, they come with a variety of brushes and colors to unleash your creativity. Use these tools for digital journaling and professional presentations. The ability to easily edit and enhance your visuals makes them perfect for client pitches and team briefings. Bullet journaling is a customizable method that combines organization with creativity. Use bullet points, symbols, and doodles to track tasks, goals, and ideas. It's perfect for daily planning and habit tracking. I will leave a link to a video on bullet journaling in the description section. Please do check it out. Infographics are ideal for summarizing data and complex information. Use icons, charts, and concise text to present information visually. They are great for reports, social media posts, and educational content. You can summarize research findings or explain complex topics with infographics. They are an excellent way to share information in a clear and engaging format. So that's all for today. Integrating visuals into your note-taking process can unlock new levels of understanding as well as creativity. So what are you waiting for? Grab a pen, a notebook, or your favorite digital tool and start experimenting with visual note-taking today. And finally, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on boosting your productivity. See you next time.